Hi, this is Steve Katz, and I'd like to give you a quick introduction to TweetDeck. TweetDeck is my favorite tool for um, navigating Twitter. I love using it to help me build my PLN and to connect with other people for whatever the needs are. And I just want to, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little, quick little demo. When you have this column here, this first column, and it's called the home column. Notice here's my Twitter name, Steve Katz. And um, what this column is, this is every single person you follow, and they pop up pretty much in real time, you know, maybe a few seconds delay. You can scroll up and down here if you need to, to look at some other stuff. But um, this is basically everything, everyone you follow who is tweeting in real time. In TweetDeck, if you want to if you want to tweet something, you can just go ahead and click here for a new tweet, and then it brings up a little window. And um, what's really nice is not only can you just put your tweet out, but you can also schedule your tweet to go out at a certain time. And um, so I can schedule the tweet here and I can tell it the date and time that I want it to go out. So got the little calendar and time there. And so I can make that a couple days from now. And I'll say that and I set the tweet. Now the next column over here, what I have is it's the mentions. So this is when someone has mentioned me in a tweet. And you can see here's my name. Uh, you can't see it here, but I was mentioned in this tweet. And this just goes in chronological order. So the, so the most recent tweet is up at the top. One of the other great things about TweetDeck is you can follow different uh, hashtags in certain columns. And so you can see this is my favorite hashtag, it's the cert. And what it does is anytime anybody posts anything with hashtag is the cert, it ends up in this column, also in real time. And next column over, I have one of my other favorite hashtags, and that is the 21CLHK. And you can see any 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 tweet tagged with that hashtag is going to show up here. Um, and if you look, I like to follow some other some other hashtags as well. Online learning is is one that's a big one for me right now, as we're all dealing with um, this online learning that we're having. Uh, another one that I that I follow consistently is ISKL Proud. I, I work at the International School of Kuala Lumpur, and this is our official school hashtag. So I always like to follow that. The other one here is is messages, and this is when someone has you have to be following them, and they have to be following you, and they send you a private message. Everything besides this column is actually public, so you have to be aware that what you put out there is visible to anybody, with the exception of these private messages. Now you'll see if you keep looking over, you'll see there's a that's a course I was following. CP chat is connected principles. Um, there's also a notifications column. So when someone follows you and things like that, it also includes your mentions. And then as you continue over, you'll notice I've, I have followed quite a number of hashtags in my time using TweetDeck. A lot of times I follow hashtags based on a conference that I go to. And eventually, you know, as, a, as I get newer hashtags to follow, those columns end up bumping over to the right a little bit as I'm as I'm looking at something that is more current. I can easily move columns around by clicking here on the settings, and then it'll pop that pop up, and I have these arrows to move. I can also do change the notifications, 
or remove the column. And as I click the arrows, it'll move in that direction. So uh, that's a real easy way for me to rearrange my columns. Now, if I want to look for a new hashtag, that's pretty easy. What I can do is I can just click on the magnifying glass here. And I can search for, let's say, virtual learning. And notice I'll get some different, uh, if, I, if I do it like this, I'm going to get users. But if I keep it all together, uh, the common hashtag pops up. And I can and I can click on that, and it's going to create a new column for me, all the way on the very far right. So at some point, I'll probably if it's something I really want to be looking at, I'm going to need to move it all the way over to the left. You can see here's the virtual learning. Everything here has a hashtag in it, and um, now I can take it and I can move it to where I'd like it. Or I hope you give TweetDeck a, a try. It's a really great tool. Although it might seem a little bit overwhelming at first, really, if you just focus on one column at a time, it'll make it very easy for you to manage. So good luck, and we'll see you in the Twitterverse.